Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello Pisces and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your September 2024 tarot reading for the sign of Pisces. Some moon rising in Venus so I hope you're well. As always the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Pisces. Let's see what we have for you for the month of September. Overarching energy first. We'll look at general energies and then look specifically at love, romance, general relationships. Money, career, finances, and any other thread that comes out for you. Are you working hard, Pisces? This is a card of hard work. You know, and do you feel like you're getting anywhere with it? Because you might not know it yet, but you are. Let's see what we have. Oh, there we are. We have the King of Pentacles. Huh. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Page of Swords. So many Pentacles. Such a focus in terms of what brings you stability and security. So let's see what we have for you. Love, romance, general relationships. What do we have for Pisces? Knight of Swords. Page of Pentacles. It's come out, it kind of came out like this. Uh, I'm actually going to leave it just like that because... Um, there's, you don't know if something's going to happen or not. Um, I think you're hoping that something's going to happen, but you don't know if it is going to happen yet. And it feels more money career or money career orientated. Let's see what we have for you. Or alternatively, you don't know if it's for you or not. What's what's on offer here? Let's do actual money career. But I think that this is a reading across the board. I've been getting that this month. Spirit will say what it wants to say. The Five of Wands. Knight of Cups. You know, the energy, the, someone's putting... Someone's putting you forward for something. But I don't think it's just you going for it. Let's see. What do we have for Pisces? It's likely this King of Pentacles is involved here. What do we have for Pisces? Yeah. <laughs> Abundance. Let's pull a Romance Angel card. Such a strong emphasis on money this month. But we will see what other messages come out, if any. I, th I just think that you're kind of very focused here. Eight of Pentacles isn't limited to money, career, finances, but there's just a strong energy here of... You're just very focused on, it feels like, on, on, on the money side. And really, I mean, these are intuitive readings as well, and I'm not really getting anything else, but we will see. What do we have for Pisces? 
Heart-to-heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other. You know, the only thing that would be different would affect a relationship here. This is likely something that would affect a relationship, uh, this, this new path coming in, it is whether you go for it or not. So again, these energies can also be conflict potentially within a relationship. Maybe it means some changes, you know, in terms of maybe travel, maybe being away from home, could be moving or relocating. I mean, the levels of change could be different for each of you. But it does feel like, you know, there is some kind of conflict between you and another person or party. You know, five or ones can be family or um, people maybe in, you're in that are in opposition to you. But it looks like in that way, uh, things get resolved. It might well be you, you go and do what you want to do. If that's the case, that would be the Knight of Cups energy. Let's pull out an abundance card. What do we have for Pisces? I just feel like I want to get stuck straight into the reading. What do we have for Pisces? Yeah, focus on your priorities. I think that's what you're trying to do as well. Certainly if this is affecting, I mean, this could be you on your own. But if this is affecting a relationship here or wider people in your life and that there, there's opposition in some way to maybe taking a new path which is why I think that something is coming in, but you don't know whether to go for it or not, or you don't know whether it's going to happen. I mean, whichever side of the fence that happens on, or whichever, however that lands, these are the energies here with the Knight of Swords and the and the Page of Pentacles on its side. It feels like you'd, you're either hearing about something, could even be pos positive news, but you don't know whether to go for it or not. Focus on your priorities. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. So Spirit is telling you, prioritize. You know, even do a list, you know, in terms of what your priorities are and that will help you maybe make a decision here can also be about inner conflict as well in terms of whether to go for whatever this is either as well but it looks like whatever this conflict is it, I think that somebody's saying okay go for it if you want to go for it don't worry we'll work it out it'll be fine let's see what we have for you destiny card what do we have for Pisces yeah nice energies Blessings, there's a blessing coming in. This is the new path. It holds real potential. You know, blessings, I feel it kind of explains itself. Such a lovely energy. Uh, let's see what we have for you in terms of potential. Volcano at rest. This card appears when you are ready to activate your potential and step into your strength. This is the time to activate those gifts that you've had on the back burner in your life. You have an incredible untapped potential. This is the time to allow it to flow. An inner wellspring of power is emerging. You have a profound spiritual power that is deep within you. Do not doubt your great authority and capabilities. A dormant volcano might indicate that you have uncomfortable emotions that you are repressing or keeping inside, thus creating emotional stress and inner pressure. It can also mean that you are on the verge of a great expansion of energy and life force. And we have that with blessings here. Um, Pisces. What you're doing, you're doing really well. You know, the Eight of Pentacles is somebody who works really, really hard and you're really, really productive, you know. Um, it doesn't always feel like that, but this is, if you, certainly if you're trying to prove yourself or if you're walking, work, working towards bringing greater 
money and abundance into your life. I mean, that's why we do the Eight of Pentacles. We work towards things, generally to bring greater abundance and value and stability in our life, you know. So that's the energy here at play. You're, you're working hard for a reason. Now, the additional message, this can be to do with things like um, temporary jobs for me as a reader. It can be to do with things like educational um, courses, professional qualifications, generally, again, with a view to bettering yourself, to bringing in more money, to bringing in greater stability and security. You know, this, you're working towards something here. You know, I, I feel here, the energies that I was initially getting here, and I've kind of spoken about the romantic side of this, you know, the only kind of romantic energy that I was getting with this was whether you go for what's going to be presented to you or not. But I think that you see such potential with this new path. I, I doubt that you're going to say no to this because I think that you've been working towards this here. Um, somebody might be putting you forward. And this is the heart to heart conversation. Yes, you can have that in terms of love romance as well, in terms of whether to go with what's being offered to you here. Um, but I, I definitely feel that there is an opportunity to increase your abundance. And that could be a package thing as well. It's not necessarily just money. It could also be like a package. You know, sometimes there are extra benefits, you know, that go with, you know, career changes um, or career progression and career advancement in some way. I see that there is an opportunity to climb the ladder. And I think somebody who really um, recognizes you for what you do, what you bring to the party, you're reliable, you're stable, you are committed, you work long hours, likely, you know, um, you're not afraid to kind of like uh, pick up the slack on other people as well, you know, so you know, this is the energy, you're not afraid to step in and do the hard work. So I think this is the reciprocal energy coming back here for you on that basis that you've kind of proved yourself and someone's putting you forward. I think that there is a significant conversation that there is the potential of an opportunity happening. Either you don't know whether it's fully happening here, you don't know if it's going to come off, or someone's putting you forward or suggesting that they put you forward but other people are being put forward as well like and this can also be in a conflict in terms of whether to go for it or not because it might mean changes now there's levels to change but nevertheless it might be changes sometimes it can also be I don't know if I'm ready for that it seems like a really big role you know but spirit's bringing it in for a reason for you this is spiritually driven so it's a blessing and spirit's asking you to realize your own potential. Uh, that's what I'm seeing here for you. Because again, the page of swords, this is very positive news to do with an increase in money. Again, 10 of pentacles, long term, you know, long term stability and secure. It's financial abundance. But there is such a strong energy here of, of um, advancement. Abundance is a, is a key focus. Abundance is when we don't feel lack, when we, we get to a place where we feel that we're abundant, when we don't feel lack, when we don't want anymore because we feel that what we're doing, we're getting, we're getting the material and monetary recognition for that, you know? So this is what's at play here. I feel that you've worked hard, you've proved yourself. You could have done, again, you could have done professional qualifications and trained for this moment. Um, you could have proved yourself in a temporary job, you know, and you're wanting a stable job now, you know, that's not temporary. The same energy would apply. This is being presented to you here. But I also feel that um, it might mean some changes, you know, but I definitely see that this King of Pentacles, somebody who holds opportunity, this is the King of Pentacles, male or female, can be a leader in business, um, but this is somebody who holds opportunity. But again, this is the potential, the ace of wands, enthusiasm, heart and soul energy, excitement, um, something that you really see potential on this new path, this new opportunity, um, this new direction. But I think that this is an advancement. This feels like climbing the ladder. Because I think that you've been working towards this. 
I do see change happening in some way here. And I think that there is that's a change that you have to negotiate within yourself and maybe with somebody else or others. But um, I, I definitely see that this new path is spiritually driven for you and it's a blessing. And that's what I have for you, Pisces. It just feels a really straightforward energy. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, the Ace of, of Wands, we're so excited about Ace of Wands energy. This is something that just fires us up. You know, it lights that kind of fire within you as well. You know, this is something that you'll be really, really excited about. King of Pentacles, somebody who bring, who is very stable, solid, understands how to manifest money, likely a very good leader in business. You know, probably one of the not good, re you know, of all the kings, King of Pentacles is a very good leader in business as well because, you know, they understand what it takes. They do, you know, the, the King of Pentacles is cautious, methodical, detail orientated, you know, not afraid to get their sleeves rolled up and stuck in with everybody else when the work is needed so this is somebody who can lead but also will do as well you know get stuck in with everybody else no airs or graces so you could be dealing with that kind of person generally quite a kind character sometimes a little bit stubborn but you know aren't we all now and now and again so we have, don't rush into making big, big decisions right now. Take your time. Yeah, number 26. This is what I see for you. Because I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure that you want to say no to this, but free will. But if it affects other people, obviously that's when you need to take your time too. We have listened to your inner voice as we try to guide you. Use your intuition, number 21. Pisces, you'll know best. However, this is that blessing. Something is about to open up for you and it looks really exciting. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.